8.5 Cartesian equations of a plane. Example 2. What is a normal vector to the plane y equals to 0? Determine three points on this plane. Let's have a look at this plane, right? This is a very simple answer to give, but I want to really get into the concepts and I also want to explain you Cartesian equation of this plane, okay? So let me first draw our axis. Here is our x, y, z axis, right? When we say y equals to 0, that means we could move along the x side and we could move along the z, but not along y. That is what we are saying y is 0. That means we are restricted to this plane, right? This plane, right? We are in this plane. And what is this plane? This plane for us is xz plane. That's y, right? Now, we are in xz plane. So y equals to 0 also means xz plane, any point on the xz plane. Now, as you can see, what is normal to this plane? Normal to this plane is y-axis, correct? So the answer is that the normal to this plane is y-axis. How to write y-axis? So y-axis is 0, 1, 0, right? That's normal to this plane. Now, when we are talking about Cartesian equations of a plane, then what do we understand? When we say Cartesian equation of a plane, then the equation which comes to our mind is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. Perfect. So that is general Cartesian equation of a plane where a, b, c are the normals to this plane, right? And you can get point D by substituting any point on the plane. Now here, you can see the point origin lies on the plane, right? That means we have normal vectors of 0, 1, 0, which makes A 0, B as 1, C as 0. To find D, which point can we use? We can use the origin itself, right? So let me use origin, which is O, which I'll write as 0, 0, 0, correct? So if I write 0, 0, 0, what do I get for D? I get D equals to 0, correct? Right? If I substitute origin O here, I get 0, plus 0, plus 0, X, Y, Z are 0, right? And therefore, D equals to 0. So I get the equation ax plus by plus cz equals to 0, where a is what? a is 0, b is 1, and c is 0. So what are we left with? So let me do it in steps. So first we put origin there and we get d equals to 0. And so we get our equation ax plus by plus cz equals to 0. And once we plug in our normal, right? The normal we found this y-axis, that's the normal, right? And if I write 0 here for x, 1 for y, and 0 for c, I mean 0 for a, a, b, c are 0, 1, 0, right? 0 for a, 1 for b, and 0 for c, we are left with this term becomes 0, we are left with y equals to 0. And that is the equation we are talking about. So one thing which I wanted to show you here, how y equals to 0 really is a Cartesian equation of our plane, right? <laughs> and which plane are we talking about? We are talking about the plane x0, right? That's the plane we are talking about. How do I represent xz? So I'm just extending this problem a bit more to give you the equation of xz plane, right? Now, as you can see, for xz plane, what we can do is, so let's, let's do what is xz plane, right? Now in xz plane, what do we notice? It can be identified with one vector like this, which is along x, right? So this is 1, 0, 0. And the other vector along z, right? 
uh, which is uh, y is 0 but yeah 0 0 1 right so 1 along z axis so we can have these two vectors we say s of this and t of this plus a point a point we can choose origin right so we say 0 0 0 as the origin and we say well this is my plane pi 1 which I am saying as xz plane so that is the definition vector equation or vector equation representation of our plane xz right so so that is what it is so that is x s into 1 0 0 plus t into 0 0 1 now this plane represents each and every point on xz plane right so you can have a linear combination this is like a linear combination right any combination like here let's say one here and one there so you get get to this point right two here one there this point so we get so many combinations and now since s and t belongs to real numbers all the points on this plane xz are covered by that equation right so that becomes the equation of our xz plane correct and talking about points on this so you can take any point on this plane for example one point of course is origin right so let's talk about points on the plane now so the points on the plane could be first of course is 0 0 0 and we can take a point here which could be 1 0 0 or we can take a point right in the middle here right where so 1 0 and 1 so there it is so all these points with y as 0 will represent the points on xz plane and will give you y equals to 0 as equation of plane also correct so y equals to 0 is the standard and how do we get y equals to 0 from these two do one thing now this is the vector equation right to get the normal what are you going to do do cross multiply of these two vectors correct so if you do cross multiply of 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 you'll get normal to this plane and the normal will be y correct so i'm leaving that as an exercise for you and that is that is to write let me make some room here for it let's say this is a plane area right so we'll see so find so i say this normal should be equal to cross multiply cross product of 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 once you do that you should get your normal okay so that's the way these are different ways in which we can look into this and of course the answer is very simple the normal is 0 1 0 and the three points are this this and this I hope you appreciate the things with I which I explained with this the concept of yz plane the concept of writing this equation in a different form the vector form the concept of getting the normal from the vector form the concept of looking into the normal since this is the plane the line going through it perpendicular is the y-axis right so there are different ways to look into it is I think just example two we are entering into Cartesian equations of planes right a new world and if you know better about it you can explore and be very confident of doing any problems in this okay I hope you appreciate it thank you